for tuning in. I'm your examiner, and you're watching my CDL buddy. I'm here to show you how to conduct a Class A tractor trailer pre trip in order to get your CDL exam. I'm here with my applicant, which will be conducting the exam today. When you do a CDL pre trip exam, you have three forms that could be randomly selected to you. The forms consist of the front of the truck, the side of the truck, or the trailer. No matter what form you get, you will also have to do your coupling devices, your light check, and your in cab. First thing I'm going to do today is read the general instructions to the pre trip to the applicant, and after that, we'll start with the front of the truck to start the inspection with. Are you ready for the general instructions to your pre trip? I am. All right, during the pre trip exam, you're going to demonstrate how to do a pre trip on your Class A tractor trailer. Everything you do on the pre-trip, you'll only do on the driver's side of the vehicle. Anything unique, you will do on the other side or the passenger side. Anything you inspect, make it simple. Point out the item, name the item, and briefly explain to me how you inspect that item. Any questions? No, sir. Okay. We're going to start you off with the front of the truck, okay? So out of the three forms, this is the first form we're going to show you guys. So the front of the truck, first you will do a front visual of the front of the vehicle with the hood closed. After you're done with that, you're going to pop open the hood, do both sides of the engine compartment, unique items on the passenger side, regular items on the driver's side. Once you're done with the engine compartment, on the front driver's side axle, you're going to do all the steering components and all the axle items. You will stop the inspection once you get to the door. Do not go to the door or any further down. Any questions? No, sir. Okay. Now we're going to conduct a vehicle inspection on the front portion of the vehicle, starting with a clearance light. Not broken, not cracked, unsecure, and clean. Headlights. Not broken, not cracked, unsecure, and clean. Uh, turn signals. Not broken, not cracked, unsecure, and clean. Uh, they have four functions. Turn signals, four-way flashers, low beams and high beams. Underneath the truck, no leaking. And next, I'm gonna open the hood and conduct a vehicle inspection on the engine portion of the vehicle. I'm gonna start by conducting a vehicle inspection on the unique items first. First, I'm gonna start with my a general overview of all my hoses. They're all not broken, not cracked, unsecure, not leaking of any sort. Coolant reservoir, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, no leaking, proper levels between min and max, and the cap is tight, okay? I would follow this hose, leads me to the water pump. Water pump, not broken, not cracked, it's unsecure, not leaking, and in this particular vehicle, it is belt driven. It can be either gear or belt driven based on your vehicle type. After that, I'm gonna go to my alternator. Alternator, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, it is belt driven. In my particular vehicle, it is belt driven. However, it can be gear driven or belt driven based on your vehicle. My belt is not broken, not cracked, unsecure, and there is no more than three quarters inch of play on the belt itself. Just finished inspecting the passenger side items or the unique side items. I will be inspecting the driver side items next. Now I will be inspecting the driver side items. I'm gonna start with my dipstick. Not broken, not cracked, unsecure, um, no leaking. Engine oil, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, no leaking. The way to check my oil is pull a dipstick out, wipe it, put it back in, pull it back out, and inspect it between uh, min and max. Next, inspect my power steering fluid. Not broken, not cracked, unsecure, no leaking, proper levels, and the cap is fully tight. From this hose, it would meet, lead me to the power steering pump, which is gear driven in this vehicle. Um, your vehicle 
can be either gear or belt driven based on the vehicle. However, on my, it is gear driven, which is not broken, not cracked, unsecured, and not leaking. Next to it, I have my air compressor. Not broken, not cracked, unsecure, gear driven. Based on the vehicle, it can be gear driven or belt driven. Frame, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, no illegal welding. Suspension components. Leaf spring, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, no scissoring. Leaf spring mount, not broken, not cracked, unsecure. Back spring mount, not broken, not cracked, unsecure. U-bolt, not broken, not cracked, unsecure. Shock absorber, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, no leaking. Steering components, steering gearbox, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, no leaking from the hoses. Three-piece steering linkage, not broken, not cracked, unsecure. Braking components, brake hose, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, no leaking. Brake chamber, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, no leaking. Slack adjuster, push rod, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, no more than one inch of play when the brakes are released. Brake drums, not broken, not cracked, unsecure. Brake pads, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, minimum a quarter inch of padding, no grease, no oil between. Tire, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, evenly worn, no bubbles, no cuts, no leaking air. Minimum, 430 seconds, tread depth. Rim, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, no illegal welding. Lug nuts, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, not loose, tight. Axle seal, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, no leaking. And finally, finish with front of the vehicle inspection, we will be moving on to the side of the vehicle inspection. The applicant just finished the front form of the vehicle. Our next step is to show you how to do the side of the vehicle during this pre-trip inspection. I'm going to read the applicant instructions and he will show us how to do the pre-trip on the side form of the vehicle. Are you ready for instructions? I am. Okay, so now you're going to inspect the side of the vehicle. It's going to consist of the driver door slash fuel area to the rear of the vehicle. The vehicle meaning the tractor, not the trailer. You'll do everything from the driver door, the underside of the vehicle, one rear axle of the vehicle, and the rear of the vehicle. When you're finished with the side of the vehicle, let me know that you are done. Do you have any questions? I do not. Okay. I'm starting with the side of the vehicle inspection. Mirror, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, clean. Door, not broken, not cracked, unsecure. Hinges, not broken, not cracked, unsecure. Side light, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, proper color, and clean. Has three functions. Left signals, four-way running lights. Steps, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, and clean. Fuel tank, not broken, not cracked, unsecure. The cap is fully tight and no leaks underneath the tank. Exhaust, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, no soot coming from it. Frame, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, no illegal welding. Drive shaft, not broken, not cracked, unsecure. Catwalk, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, clean. Torque arm, not broken, not cracked, unsecure. Brake chamber hose, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, 
no leaking. Brake chamber, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, no leaking. Slack adjuster and push rod, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, no more than one inch play when the brakes are released. Spring hangers, not broken, not cracked, unsecure. U-bolts, not broken, not cracked, unsecure. Control arms, not broken, not cracked, unsecure. Shock absorber, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, no leaking. Airbag, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, no leaking. Brake drums, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, clean. Brake pads, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, clean. Minimum a quarter inch of padding. Tires, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, clean, no leaking air. Minimum 230 seconds tread depth. In between the tires, clean, no dead animals. My rim, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, clean, no illegal welding. Lug nuts, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, tight, not loose. Axle seal, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, no leaking. Valve stem, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, no leaking air. And I would use a tire pressure gauge, which is 105. PSI. Mud flap, not broken, not cracked, unsecure. Red reflective tape is 100% present. Tail lights, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, clean, red in color. They got four functions turn signals, four wheel flashers, tail lights, and brake lights. All right, now that the applicant has completed the side of the vehicle inspection, we will move them on to the final portion, which is the trailer. I'll read, you, I'll read the applicant the instructions to the trailer, and he will conduct a trailer portion exam for the pre-trip. Are you ready for instructions? I am. All right, now you're gonna inspect all the components on the trailer, starting with the front of the trailer, the side of the trailer, the under part of the trailer, one rear axle of the trailer, and the rear of the trailer. If there is anything unique, on the other side of the trailer, inspect those items. Any questions? No, sir. All right, let me know when you're done. Clearance lights, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, clean. Header board, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, no holes. Side of the trailer, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, no holes. DOT tape is present, at least 50% or more. Landing gear, not broken, not cracked, unsecure. The landing gear handle, not broken, not damaged, secure, proper position. Light, not broken, not damaged, secure, clean and proper color. Three functions, turn signal, four-way flasher, running lights. Frame, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, no illegal welding. Torque arm, not broken, not cracked, unsecure. Brake chamber, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, no leaking. Brake chamber hose, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, no leaking air. Behind the brake chamber, I got my slack adjuster and the push rod, not broken, not cracked, unsecure. When the brakes are released, we cannot have no more than one inch of play on the slack adjuster and push rod. Leaf spring, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, no scissoring. U-bolts, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, the bolts are fully tight. Spring mounts, front and back mount, not broken, not cracked, unsecure. Brake drums, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, 
No oil, no grease in be between the drums and the pads. Brake shoes or pads, not broken, not cracked, unsecured, minimum a quarter inch of material. Tires, no, no abrasions, no cuts, no bumps, no leaking air, minimum 230 seconds of tread depth and 105 PSI and I will check it with a tire gauge through the valve stem. These are dualies, so in between, you gotta make sure there's no uh, dead animals and clean. Rim, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, no illegal welding. Lug nuts, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, they're all tight, present, and not missing. Hub seal, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, no leaking fluids. Valve stem, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, no leaking air, and I would use a tire pressure gauge to check the tire pressure. Mud flap, not broken, not cracked, unsecure. ABS light, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, proper color and clean. Side marker light, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, proper color and clean. Clearance lights, not broken, not damaged, secure, clean and proper color. Door, not broken, not damaged, secured in the locked position. Tail lights, not broken, not damaged, secure, proper color, clean, red in color. And they have four functions, turn signals, four-way flashers, tail lights, and brake lights. DOT bumper, not broken, not damaged, secure, clean. DOT tape is 100% present. Okay, now that the applicant has completed his trailer inspection, the next component of your pre-trip is your coupling devices. I'll read the applicant the coupling device instructions and he'll perform the inspection for us. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, now you'll inspect any items involved in the coupling of the truck and the trailer. Any questions? No, sir. All right, you can begin. First, I'm gonna do the lines and the cables. Red line, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, no leaking. The glad hands are connected to the trailer and no leaking around the glad hands. Blue line, service line, not broken, not cracked, unsecure. The glad hand is connected to the trailer, no leaking on the glad hands. Green line, electric line, not broken, not cracked, unsecure. The pigtail is connected to the trailer. And I would inspect the same way on the truck side for leaking and connection of the tr to the truck of the gr uh, green line, blue line, and the red line. And next, we will move on to inspecting the fifth wheel components. Apron, not broken, not cracked, unsecure. Fifth wheel, not broken, not cracked, unsecure. No space between apron and fifth wheel. Fifth wheel is properly greased. Release handle, not broken, not damaged, no cracked, unsecure. Platform, not broken, not cracked, unsecure. Platform bolts, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, they're tight, not missing. Locking pin, not broken, not cracked, unsecure. King pin, not broken, not damaged, no cracked, unsecure. Locking jaws, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, and they're in a locked position around the king pin. And I have enough space between my tractor and my landing gear, and I also have enough space between my truck and the trailer. Now I've completed the inspection of the coupling components, we're gonna move on to the light check portion. All right, now that the applicant has finished his coupling devices, the next two steps are the external light check and the in-cab. First, we're gonna start with the light check on the front of the truck. Once he's done with that, he's gonna move to the light check on the rear of the tractor. Once he's done with that, he'll let me know and I'll finalize it with the light check on the rear of the trailer. Once he's done with that, at the end, I'll hop in the truck to finalize the entire pre-trip with the in-cab. You're gonna hop in the truck, close your door, put your key on electrical mode, roll down your window. We'll start with the front of the truck. Every light you perform, yell out the names. I'll give you a thumbs up if they're working. When, once you're done with the front form, let me know when you're ready for the side form. Any questions? No, sir. All right.
Ready. Clearance lights. You're good. Low beams. You're good. High beams. You're good. Left signal. You're good. Right signal. You're good. Four-way emergency flashers. You're good. I have finished the front light check. Please move on to the side light check. Left signal. You're good. Right signal. You're good. Brake lights. You're good. Tail lights. You're good. Four-way emergency flashers. You're good on the four ways. I have finished the side light check. Please move on to the trailer light check. Tail light. You're good. Okay. Four-way flashers. You're good. Brake lights. You're good. Left signal. You're good. Right signal. You're good. Clearance lights. Clearance lights. You're good. Okay. I have finished with my trailer inspection of the light check. All right, this will be our final portion of the pre-trip inspection. Now the applicant will conduct an in-vehicle inspection and engine start portion, otherwise known as the in-cab. Uh, the in-cab does consist of all the braking tests also. Your examiner will not tell you that, so make sure you include that. I'm gonna hop in the truck now to conduct the in-cab with our applicant. Now I will be conducting the in-vehicle inspection plus engine start portion of the vehicle which includes my brake test. Once I come in my vehicle I will be starting with my three safety equipments. Fire extinguisher fuses triangle. Fire extinguisher is down in the cabinet back there not broken, not cracked, on secure, fully charged and in the green. I got three safety reflective triangles which are not broken, not cracked, on secure and secured to the truck and I should have some spare electrical fuses which are not broken, not cracked, unsecure. Next, my seatbelt. Not broken, not cracked, yeah. unsecure, yeah, not cut, no, latches well, he doesn't, and unlatches properly. Else, that's a, a okay. new portion. My mirrors are not broken, not cracked, unsecure, clean and adjusted to me as a driver. My windshield, not broken, not cracked, unsecure, no illegal stickers. The wipers now I've finished now the broken, trailer not cracked, check. unsecure, on and the, the water sprays properly. Of the in cab inspection. Um, next, I'm gonna safe start my vehicle. Turn the key to my electric mode and wait for my ABS light to come on and go off. Foot on my brake. Make sure my brakes are engaged. Next. I will look at my gauges. Water gauge, not broken, not cracked, on secure and at proper levels. Oil pressure gauge, not broken, not cracked, on secure, proper levels. My battery gauge or voltmeter gauge, not broken, not cracked, on secure, at proper levels. My air brake gauge one, air brake gauge two, not broken, not cracked, on secure at proper levels between 100 125 psi i'm going to perform a light check again left signal indicating properly right signal indicating properly four-way flashers indicating properly my high beam is indicating properly as well i got a city horn working properly Highway horn working properly. I'm gonna go to my heater and my defrost. My heat, not broken, not cracked, on secure, working properly. And my defrost is not working properly, not broken, not cracked, and not secure. Next, I will conduct uh, my brake test. So, my first step. I'm gonna push my brakes in, turn my key to electric mode, 
off mode and back to electric mode. Wait for my gauges to stabilize. First step I'm going to do is hold my brake for one minute. I should not lose no more than 4 PSI in a combination vehicle in that one minute. And I will wait for that full one minute and tell the examiner I did not lose 4 PSI in that one minute. After that, I'm going to pump on my brakes up and down and watch my gauges here. When my gauges get to 60 PSI, I should hear an alarm or beeping noise coming from the gauges. After that, I'm going to keep pumping the brakes until my gauges drop 20 to 40 PSI, which my parking brake and my trailer brakes will pop out. So I'm watching my... And they both have popped, which tells me my brakes are working properly. Next portion, I'm going to turn the truck back on, build my air by revving my gas up to about 10 RPMs. So my compressor can fill the air tanks faster. Okay, I'm at 125 PSI on my gauge one and two, which means I'm ready for my next portion of the brake test, which is called a tug test. First portion of that is I'm gonna release my trailer brakes, pushing them in, place my vehicle in drive, wait for the air to stabilize, and rev the gas tug against the brakes on the tractor my brakes are working good which means my tractor brakes are holding me properly I'm gonna do the opposite now push my tractor brakes in make sure my trailer brakes are engaged put the vehicle in drive tap the gas a little bit tug against the trailer brakes it's holding me back which means my trailer brakes are working properly back to neutral now I'm going to make sure both of them are pushed in. I'm going to drive about five miles an hour, at which point I will hit my brakes and make sure my steering wheel doesn't pull left or right and my service brake is working properly. Check both mirrors, it's clear. I'm going to move about five miles an hour. Hover over my steering wheel lightly. 
my brakes are working properly and my steering wheel did not pull to the left or right. I have completed the in-cab inspection portion of the vehicle.